Uh, we knew that, that we liked that play and the coverage they were running. They were running all game. And we were just trying to set it up for the perfect time, and I think that works. Fourth quarter, you guys were able to turn a pair of takeaways into points. How huge was that for you guys in the second half where you guys were able to move the chains where you weren't able to early on? Uh, it was very important. Coach Locks always states that the game is a game of momentum and stops. So defense getting those two big stops is the offense only right for us to go down and do what we had to do. What was Talia like just in the huddle, kind of leading you guys um, on, on that important drive? Uh, he was the same throughout the whole game, poised, calm, uh, our leader. Can you, can you see any jump from, from last year already and just how he's – how both of you guys are able to handle these moments? Uh, I've seen the jump all throughout the offseason. Today is just you guys seeing it. <laughs> so. uh, earlier in the game, West Virginia seemed to play with a corner and then a safety, and they kept switching back and forth. One of the times you caught them in between. Were they trying to double cover you, or was that a few times or, or most of the game on that? Uh, I'm not sure. I just run the plays that Coach calls. <laughs> <laughs> what was it like getting to play in, play in a crowded stadium? It was fun. The spring game, it was half crowded, but I mean, today was fun for a first game and a big game like this. It was definitely a good one. To respond the way you guys did after they took the lead in, in the second half, the uh, coach said that you know earlier this week he, he was curious as to how you guys would deal with adversity, and it felt like you know you guys were able to do so. If you could speak to that, just being able to get off the mat after they had you guys handcuffed for a while. Uh, we knew. Uh, West Virginia was going to be a great team. We knew it was going to be a full quarter game. So we just we knew that it was going to take all four quarters to win. So whenever the play or your name was called, you just had to go out and make your play. How cool is it for you guys to be able to dial up some of those plays and tear the top off of like you did Dante had one? Yeah. Uh, that's cool, but it's the only we one. We still got a lot more work to do. Well, I'll give you an easy one. What do you think of the uniforms? I loved them. I, I wish those were the permanent ones, but that's not up to me. <laughs> Coach said Stefan Diggs talked to you guys last night. How was that, just hearing from him and, and getting that kind of motivation the night before a big game? It was big, knowing that guys that came through before us are still watching and still counting on us to win and go out and play good. It means a lot. It means like somebody, you're playing for something more than yourself. How many people, how much family do you have coming to the game since you've managed to stay home and still be a superstar? Uh, today was the first game I could have like a, a lot of family, so I had about six or seven. Last year, COVID, it really kind of messed things up. So it's, it's a, a good amount. Do you have new cousins, uncles, people <laughs> seven times removed uh, saying, hey, remember me? And you're like, no. I do, but those people can't really get in contact with <laughs> <laughs> What did you think of uh, Tam's lead, Davis and Isaiah Jacobs, just how they were handling the responsibilities? Backfield. But those they were two big key components in the win today. They didn't really get the shine or the glory, but those two, I mean, we sealed the game with Tayon Fleet Davis on the field. So mm -hmm. I mean that was big. How cool was it to get in a kneel down at home for your first big win here? Uh, it was great. That was the first one I think of my career. So mm -hmm. I mean it felt great. <laughs> what do you think of uh, the Jacorian Bennett interception on that side? How hyped were you when that happened? I was <laughs> I can't even explain it. I mean, we see this stuff in practice, but like in the game, you got the fans going crazy. So I mean, you usually got to stay calm and in the moment, be in the moment. So it was, it was definitely a big moment, though. Coach preaches a lot about not just making great football players, but making great men. And so, instead of breaking, the team was bent, but it bounced back. What role do you think the veterans had in helping the young guys know? Look, you know, fourth quarter, we've got this. We can hold on. We can come back. Uh, we know no game is going to be easy, so I mean, and usually the team that wants it more, which Coach Locke says, usually is going to win. So I think today we wanted wanted it more in the show. Where do you feel like the uh, offense can improve moving forward from here? I say the consistency. Like you see a good drive here, and then we go three and out for two or three drives. So I say really consistency and discipline. What do you think a win like this can do just for confidence, belief um, for this season, and just the program in general? Uh, it could do a lot, but we're just taking it one game at a time. Is, is that hard to do ever? Like when you have a big win like this, how do you not look ahead to what you could accomplish this season? Uh, we haven't really accomplished anything yet, so we got to just stay forward. I mean, West Virginia's a good team, but we've got bigger goals. Anything else? Okay, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.